If I asked you to close your eyes and think of the word farm, what do you see? Maybe wide open land with a barn, some crops, and even animals, right? Now if I said vertical farming, what comes to mind? It's one of those things that sounds futuristic, but has been around forever. Essentially, it's the practice of growing crops and plants in vertically stacked layers rather than in the traditional horizontal method. The vertical farming system is a closed loop system that uses LED lights, hydroponics, and aeroponics to grow food indoors. This method has been around for decades, but it has recently gained popularity due to its efficiency in producing food without the use of pesticides and or herbicides. Vertical farms are typically located in urban areas where land is at a premium and people are more likely to be interested in locally grown produce. There are many benefits to vertical farming. It can be done year round because it does not rely on sunlight as traditional agriculture does. Daytime, nighttime, summer, winter, it doesn't matter. Vertical farms can also be built anywhere there is an available space because they don't require large amounts of land like traditional farms do. Vertical farms are more productive than traditional farms because they use less water and space to grow the same amount of food as a conventional farm would. Finally, vertical farms use about 30% less energy than conventional agriculture methods do because they don't rely on tractors or other heavy machinery to harvest crops or transport them from one place to another. So far, we've only discussed the upside to vertical farming, but there are some drawbacks associated with it as well. One is optics. Most people just aren't comfortable eating food grown indoors, so there will have to be some sort of marketing campaign that convinces people that this type of food is safe and healthy before it becomes popular with consumers. Another drawback is that vertical farming requires a lot of technology to operate, which means that it could be expensive to set up and maintain. Finally, vertical farms will require a lot of human labor to operate, which means that the cost of food will be higher than it is now. Despite these drawbacks, the benefits of vertical farming are so great that I think it's here to stay and will become more popular as time goes on. On. Vertical farming systems are also safer than traditional farms because they don't require people to handle dangerous chemicals or work with livestock. Vertical farming systems produce less pollution than traditional farms as well. Because plants don't emit any emissions, vertical farming produces no pollution. As a result, I think that vertical farming will help to improve the economy because it will allow more people to start their own businesses and become successful farmers. Sort of like a new agriculture renaissance, if you will. If you want to get started with vertical farming, you should definitely check out the links in the description below. These resources have tons of great information for beginners and will help you on your journey to starting your very own farm. I think that vertical farming has huge potential for the future and may help improve the economy in the long term. I'm obviously speculating, but time will tell. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time.